Hey, everybody. I, unt I open up the tape with the scissors right over next to me um, off camera. So this flap opens and it says, what's at the end of your rainbow? And we have a little cloud here on top of the rainbow. Press this little pink tab in, pull down the pre-cut cloud, and then you pull here. That's gonna give us the checklist, I think, that's made just for this pony. Well, actually, it might have uh, the checklist that's for this whole series. And uh, I can check again and verify, but I believe that there's a Miss Bella. Okay. So that shows you all the different mystery petkins you can get. And then on the back here, it shows, if I can get this stuff focus. Focus for me. There we go. We've opened these guys up. Isla Hibiscus and Tropicorn. We've opened them already. I can post a link in the description for the other videos that I've done from this series. In case you guys are interested in watching them. Uh, we have uh, Popsy Blue and Popsicorn. We have Isabel. And ring a bell. I don't think we have ring a bell yet. We are missing some more. Hmm. I'm gonna have to check that out. Um, we have faith feathers and boho feathers. We have Lolita Pops and Candy Clops. We're gonna be opening those today. Yeah, okay. So Rainbow Dreamer is the one we're gonna be opening right now. And there's Miss Bella right there. So we are looking for Miss Bella. So Let's see what we got for our little surprise pet kitten that's going to be right behind in this cloud window right here. Okay. So it looks like we have um, little wings and a little face on the wings. This this pony right here, and, I, and I'm going to tell you that now, um, I'm going to grab at the end of the video because I'm pretty sure uh, that... This pony is, sadly, you'd think that she'd be more unique, but I really, really, really almost positive that she is a repaint from the unicorn that we had from the last season. But uh, she's really, really pretty. She's all white. And then her, um, her hoofs. If you can see them, that she has, she's wearing a couple of shoes in the front, and one's blue, and one's yellow, and then her, her hoofs themselves are purple and pink in the back, and then she has a purple and pink swirly hair. It's more like it's tipped pink, and then she has a swirly purple tail, and she's also wearing a saddle. I don't know if it's removable. It looks like it is. I think it is, but I'm not going to pull it off. Um, her saddle is yellow and light blue. It's got a pretty good design on it. And she also has, um, on this side of her, she's got some, on her, on her rear quarter, she's got some blue stars. And then she's got blue stars on her eye. And her eye is, oh, she has pink eye. <laughs> oh, the puns. She has pink eye, and then she, around her, her pink eyes are traced in blue. So she's really pretty, regardless as to whether she might be a recolor or not from something that we've already seen. Uh, so her, um... Okay. This goes right on her butt. There's like a little hole in there, see? So yep, yeah, there it is on her. It, it doesn't sit very, very, it's very sturdy, but um, it stays when she, you can play her around. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put her back here. And then we're gonna pull out our other horse, which is Candy Clops, and she looks pretty amazing. I'm, she's one of the ones I'm pretty excited about. And I'm gonna cut off her tape off, off camera. Pull out this. It's gonna be our checklist we've already looked at. And then, ooh, what's in here? What is this? Tasty look at Petkins. Get it out. 
like a lollipop of some sort. Uh, okay, so it's the same type of concept as the one that went on that. Uh, I am familiar with horses, but I don't really know the horse terms for things. My mom would be able to help me with this situation. But anyhow, this is a lollipop uh, themed, and it will go right in the slot in the back of her. Well, wait, let's get her out first and take a look at her. Did we even show the back of our box? There isn't really too much to show. Um, these ones are really nice collector's boxes, like if you were just going to store it in a bookcase because you can see it and stuff. But um, there is no bios for them, which kind of is disappointing, but that's okay. The quality is there, so we're excited about it. Alright, so where do we start with her? She has some really cool, like, popcorny swirl hair. If you can see, it's parted in the middle, so it looks kind of looks like she's got a ponytail. Uh, two ponytails, and they're like Shirley Temple curled. So, and then she's got this swirly swoop that goes right around her horn on the top. And this is like a cotton candy type um, pink. Same with her tail. Look at that tail. I wonder if it's supposed to be like lollipop uh, swirls or something like that. Anyhow, if you look at her face, her bot her body is like a a baby blue, and her face has those that cotton candy. Swirl. Um, see if I can get a good close up of her. Let me see her roll at me. Can you guys see that? Yeah, now you can. Uh, she's got like a cotton candy swirl, uh, pink design, right, like spiral design right below her eyes, and she's got like pink eyes, and then she has this cool marking that go takes up her nose and her face and her forehead that is the same yellow as her horn on the top. And then coming down, she's got um, like a choker collar. And then she's got her saddle. And her saddle also um, goes around her butt area. There's definitely a term for this, but I'm not very good about it. It almost looks like stirrups or something. I don't know. But it's really, she's a re got a really cute outfit going on there. And then she has hairy hoofs. And uh, two of her feet are yellow. You can see that. So let's get this on her. So I put her little, uh, her little, I don't know what you want to call it, uh, butt design thing on. <laughs> I wonder if they're, like, supposed to be for tricks so they can, like, so that the riders can jump around and have, like, little things. I wonder if that's what they're for. Either way, um, these guys are pretty dazzled. They're impressive, honestly. Good job, Moose Toys. Okay. <laughs> Um, so let's uh, go ahead and unbox our last girl. And the last girl we have here is Lolita Pops herself. Now if anyone uh, remembers, um, Lolita Pops was first made into a full size Shoppy before they made her into this little size. Um, there she is on the side, her little pose. Same on this side. And then we have her on the back. I don't think there's a bio for her either. So yeah, everything on the back of this is the same as it was in the front and that's showing her little mystery pet kittens so let's go ahead and um, take the tape off this and then instead of the cloud since she's a little shoppy and not a little unicorn instead of the cloud she's got a window to open with a little flower box there see that she's got in here. Here's the checklist. Then is the other ones. Hmm. It almost looks like whatever she's got in here kind of matches um, what Candy Clops has. Okay. Um, it looks sort of like a candy butterfly. But it's a clip. I don't know where it clips on, but we'll find out. And here is Lolita Pops. Lolita Pops has a baby blue uh, double ponies with curly cues. She has uh, two hearts that look like Pops. One's dark pink. One's yellow on each side. The front of her hair is 
a light pink if anyone could see that uh, bring a little bit of a focus issue and she's a little bit dark skin not like super dark skin just like medium I guess dark she has um, pink eyes and pink lips that are open you can see her teeth her outfit which is removable uh, consists of purple on top dark pink on the bottom and light pink on the other side of the bottom and she has a yellow lollipop design on the middle of her outfit here so I can get it to focus and um, she has painted on blue tights that come down into her shoes which are a dark purple it has lollipop designs that are um, heart shaped like the rest of her pops and then behind them they have bows Her tights, her blue tights, do have a little bit of a swirly texture, if you can notice that too. And then, um, her, like I said, her outfit's removable. She has a dark purple bodysuit underneath. And as for articulation goes, just like the rest of the shoppies, you can move her feet up and down so you, she can sit or do the splits or kick or, you know, back kick or front kick. Her arms move up and down and her head moves back and forth. So we can demonstrate. Candy Clops is Lolita Pop's pony. So we're gonna go ahead and put her on there. And get her on there. There we go. So they were meant to go together. I think they did a great job making them blend but not too not not be not too samey. What do you guys think? I love it! <laughs> oh, you know what I forgot to do? Figure out how her accessory goes on. So I really don't know how else to put it on because of how um, the big space uh, that there is between. So I'm thinking it's either supposed to be wings, like candy wings. That looks about right, right? It's either supposed to be candy wings or a candy bow tie, and I think the wings make more sense than that. Because it won't fit on her hand because uh, it's her hand's too skinny. And it looks weird on her legs. So I'm thinking it goes on the back of her neck. And it's supposed to simulate candy wings. Um, I'm going to check one more thing for you guys. If you just give me a couple of minutes. I'm going to come back and I'm going to compare our new unicorn to our old unicorn. So I know this probably should be in a different video because I was doing a review. But this had to be done. I had to check this out because I, the second I laid my eyes on her I feel like I'd seen her before. Okay. And she's supposed to be Miss Bella's pony for in case I didn't mention. So, uh, she's really pretty. Don't get me wrong. But go ahead and look at the hard to find cutie corn from our last season of Happy Places. Check them out. Unless somewhere along the timelines these two are supposed to be sisters, it bothers me just the slightest bit. Because look how beautiful she is. She's so, like, um, metallic-y and majestic. And then she's really pretty and cool, too. But if I didn't already have this one, I wouldn't really notice the difference. But it looks to be that they're an exact same design, just recolored. So a, a bit of a letdown, but I'm not... It's not me knocking it because I still needed to have them both and I'm pretty excited about having them. Um, so either way, <laughs> like I said, maybe they're just supposed to be sisters. Who knows? Uh, but if you liked this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up and we will see you in the next video. Bye guys!